Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> All right, wonderful. We're here, thank God. You had an experiential week? Wonderful blessings? Mm -hmm. How are you feeling today? I need to hear. Welcoming, right? Thank you, and I love that. And Mike, how are you feeling today? Fantastic. Fantastic. Happy. She took your word. Well, you can share. Fabulous. Fabulous. Larry? Wonderful. Joyous. Joyous. Great. Blessed in divine order. Helen? Yes. Joyful? Wonderful. Wonderful. Good. Magnificent, marvelous, the M's, <laughs> they're sitting next to each other. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> All right. What about Greg? Blessed. Peggy? You feel dry. <laughs> Three feet. <laughs> God is in. Yes. Fantabulous. All right. Wonderful. I feel grateful today, that I am here and that we are here and that the Spirit of God is living, moving and having its being within all of us, uplifting us in all of our ways. So let's just get still for a moment and open our service in prayer, giving God all the glory, all the praise, just being thankful right now. And in a second here or two, we'll call up the names of those that we know and love and those that we are in need of prayer putting it out into the universe. God already knows, but we're accentuating their uh, upliftment. Father, Mother, God, we say thank you for this marvelous, magnificent, hopeful, joyful, rich, prosperous, and all the wonderful things that you are, that we are, because we're your children. We're expressions of you. And we are so grateful today that your life, your love, your peace, your joy is being expressed in and through us right here right now. We feel your presence because we're feeling people, feeling expressions of you, and we're grateful. And as we call up the names of those that are in need of prayer right now, Gloria, Julius, Beverly, Tom, Larry, Will, Betty, Rose, Violet, blessings. Unity's Church, blessings. Clinton Township, blessings. Detroit, blessings. USA, blessings. The world, blessings. Yes. And then just take a moment here as we do and bless yourselves. Just see yourselves encapsulated in the spirit of love. Thank you, God, for me. Thank you, God, for me. And we all say together, amen. All right, our first hymn for today is on our bulletin. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. And let's sing the first verse. First verse. Place. 
In the midst of his children, the Lord said that he would be. It doesn't take very many. It can be just two or three. And I feel that same sweet spirit that I felt of times before. Surely I can say that I've been with the Lord. For surely the presence of the Lord is in this place I can feel his mighty power and his grace I can feel the brush of angel wings I see glory on each face surely the presence of the that presence in. Oh, thank you, God. Mm. And as we stand and affirm together our statement of being in the program, together, both invisible and visible, one presence, one mind, one power is all. This one that is all is perfect life, perfect love, and perfect substance. I am an individualized expression of God. I am ever one with this perfect life, perfect love, and perfect substance. And on the back of our program, the purpose and mission statement, together, the purpose of Unity East Church is to demonstrate his of truth as taught and demonstrated by Jesus Christ and interpreted by unity. Our mission is to rediscover the guiding spirit of God's presence within us and willingly demonstrate his creative purpose in our lives. And on the front of the bulletin, are we all in harmony and unity today? We all have the purpose, oh, wonderful. Let's, on the side it says what? Peace, and leave with you. My peace I give unto you, and let not your heart be troubled Neither let it be afraid. John 14, 27. Wonderful. And as you turn in your hymnal to page 2, 2, 2. And we sing joyously. My life begins for me when? Now, right now, today. My life begins for me today, new worlds before me lie. The yesterdays have passed away, no more to close aside. Before me lies a bright today, all blessings in its hold. And I rejoice to find life's way and sing its joys untold. To 
shame for me begins anew. A life that holds for me all that is good and real and true. Its blessings now I see. I look no longer to the past, no way for future days. For with today my lot is cast, its present joys I praise. Turn to your neighbor and good morning, joy, joy, joy. Three joys. Good morning, joy, joy, joy. Down in our souls. Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Expressing, expressing, expressing. Good morning, joy, joy, joy. Joy, joy, joy. Mm -hmm. Just squeeze some joy out of me. <laughs> Now this is the month of August, and we're in our third week, and the power for this month is will, the will of God with our will. And the disciple is Matthew, and the color is gray. That gray area in our lives, yeah, it's important too, all the colors are. Now physical location is the center of the front brain here. And if you look at the bottom of the bulletin and affirm it with us together, because there's power in the spoken word, together, God's will for me is absolute good. When I let God's will move in and through me, all things work for the highest good for all. Wonderful for all. We are all a part of God's tapestry. Now, we welcome our streaming family. And now Sunday, now if you are, here we go. If you are here today, uh, you have these little cards on the, next to the prayer chest there, that let you know if you wanna see this service and three or four others on your computer anytime through the week to reinforce or remind you of something that was said or something was done today. Uh, UEC, which is Unity East Church TV, uh, will get you into that particular um, setting. And you can just click on whichever week you want to see. And then you can tell your friends about it also. All right. Now, uh, late announcements will be given to Wade, which is uh, not in the sanctuary right now. Uh, and. Uh, and please note, as we're streaming our service, please use our side aisles when you're coming up <laughs> to do <laughs> your contribution to the service. Um, if you're making a donation with your credit card, you must include your street number, zip code, amount, type of credit card, amount, number, expiration date, and a signature. If all of the above information is not included, your donation cannot be processed in your envelope will be returned. Okay. Our coffee fund is getting low. Please consider donating to the goodies uh, or an extra dollar. Ongoing classes, meditation class will be, it's, uh, will resume on September the 8th next month. Uh, this is the month of vacation. We have members all of us just vacationing, going here and going there and just enjoying this weather that we're having other than the rain, excess of the rain. But it's necessary to, to an extent. Tai Chi is still on Wednesday, $5 donation. 
Bible will resume on September 4th with a new book. Uh, we've gone through the Bible. And the class was called Through the Bible in a Year. It took us two years, <laughs> but it's all good. Um, today is uh, the 17th of August, and we have bled, blood, bled, <laughs> blood pressure screening today in the Children's Church after service. Uh, next week is Money Tree Sunday. So bring your money trees in. There's these little things here. We have them, uh, we put our change in them throughout the money, throughout the money. Okay. Oneness. <laughs> Oneness here. <laughs> throughout the month and bring them in to do small repairs around the church. Tuesday, August the 19th. I think I have something here. Yeah. The Secret of Shambhala class by Roseanne will be um, on the 19th, 26th, and September the 2nd. So look at that and read about that and um, let her know how many people are coming so she can prepare for that. Volunteers need it. We had a wonderful usher or uh, greeters at the door this morning uh, with smiles and hugs and all that. And it was so warming to walk into church and have that experience. Okay, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful view. Keep bringing in your toiletry articles. We still have homeless people out there needing help. And first timers, please sign our guest register in the foyer so that we can keep you abreast of what going, what's going on here. And if you're ill or have a uh, hospitalized or need assistance, please let me know. Uh, we had um, someone that had a major operation this, come, this past Monday and uh, they had had it before and they were very concerned because they were, their mind was set on all the pain and misery that they went through on that other operation two years ago. And they said, well, you're not the same person now as you were then. And technology has changed in two years. So in your mind, you create what you want to happen in that experience because you are co-created with God. She said, oh, I'll try. And then I gave her a special meditation tape so I called her Tuesday. She said, ah, I'm going home tomorrow. I said, well, what about the operation? It was nothing like I thought. And thank you for the meditation tape. It helped me get through this experience. So thoughts held in mind. Hello. Have you ever heard that before? Like every Sunday. <laughs> OK. OGG. Oh. This is our Affirmation Sunday. Every day, in every way, I am better and better. For only God's good happens to me and through me again. Every day, in every way, I am better and better. For only God's good happens to me and through me once more. Every day, in every way, I am better and better. For only God's good happens to me and through me. Mm. Yes. Yes, by God, I think you've got it. The rain in Spain lies. <laughs> That's for the singers in the house. My truth, there is nothing. I can be, nothing I can do, nothing I can have. I am guided. I do have the power. The universe God is conspiring on my behalf. I am the creator and not the reactor of my life. The genius within me is released. I am now fulfilling my destiny. Thank you, God. Amen. Now, we, do we have a prayer facilitator in case someone needs? Uh, okay, Laurie will be here if you want prayer, personal prayer after the service. And if you need to see me, I'm here. <laughs> Praise God. And next month, I will have definite days that I will be here in the church, maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, for four-hour increments so that you can come in and we can sit down and talk and just really get to know each other, you know, because we see each other on Sunday and we love each other and then we go off to our lives, you know. But then you need to know that I'm here for you. 
for those special times. Thank you. And I'll announce that the last Sunday of this month. Praise God. All right, well, let's prepare for meditation. And one, oh, wait a minute. Before we do that, uh, in our bookstore, uh, we've got the new Daily Word, and it is still only $1.95. It usually costs $6. I don't understand what's going on there, but, you know, sale time, sale time. Get it while it's hot, September, October. So get those and give them to your friends because every day it has a new, a different idea to inspire you. And I've learned that if you, if you read it in the morning and then maybe sometime during the afternoon, and just before you go to bed, you're putting something positive into your subconscious mind and you're emptying out some of the old train, the old stuff that is in there. Think about that just before you go to bed. Put it by your bed and read it. Create a new habit because unity is a spiritual practice religion. And then we've got the freedom of forgiveness and empowering prayers for every day. And then this one is partnering with spirit, and this one's free. I think these cost $1.95 or, yeah, $1.95, those two. But this one, partnering with spirit, is free, and it's talking and teaching you about tithing. And right now, we need to consider that seriously. And it's free. So what is the expression? You have not because you ask not. Ask for it. It's free. F-R-E-E-E-E-E. Never could spell right. But it's good. It's all good. All right, now let's prepare for meditation, that wonderful time of going within for just a few moments by singing our Lord's Prayer. not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the And in the stillness of this moment, taking a deep breath. And just hold it for a few seconds and just let it seep from your lips slowly. Letting go of any tension, any tiredness, any stress, any confusion from this week, this day. Let it go. Let it go. This is our time right now to be still and know that I am, the I am of you is God, the Christ Spirit within you. We say thank you, God, for this knowledge, this truth. 
And as the body relaxes, take in another warm, loving, spiritual life breath. Oh, let it, the lungs just fill up. And then just letting that breath go out to the universe here. And as soon as it hits the air, and it's beyond our lips, it turns into good, clean, reusable, fresh, invigorating air again. Thank you. Let me be your ambassador and speak these words for you. I have faith in you, God. The God of my being and the God of all there is, I have faith in you as my omnipresent help in every need. Thank you. I have faith in you as my almighty resource. Breathe that in. I have faith in you, God. And release it slowly. And as you have just taken that breath in with those thoughts in your mind, you have unified your thinking, your feeling nature with the breath, which is the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit coming together as one. I trust you to preserve me in abundance. I trust you, God, in every part of my life. You created me. You love me. I love you and I love you too. Thank you. I have faith in you and your good. And I thank you for your divine aid in every endeavor. Your divine aid, your God aid in every endeavor. And I know with a deep inner knowing that whatever the appearance, whatever the condition, your immeasurable power of good is at work. Your immeasurable power of good is at work. And an unlimited potential for good is yet to be brought forth. I am open and receptive and responsive. faith in you, God, as my omnipresent help in every need, every need. I have faith in you, God, as my almighty resource. I trust you, God, to preserve me in abundance. I trust you, God, in every part of my life. I I turn to you, God, because I believe you are the rewarder of them who seek after you. I place my faith in your help, readily available in maximum quantity. And I give thanks to you. And I give thanks for you. And I am blessed. For I have faith in you, God. And you have faith in me. And as I rest in the silence for just a few moments, I let and allow my openness for your love, for your faith, for your peace that surpasses all understanding just to move throughout my beings now in the silence.
right now or in our streaming family, in your homes or in the hospital, wherever you are, God is. And all is well. As we take in another deep breath and come back to this place, space, and time feeling wonderfully invigorated. Because we smile because we're happy. And as we sing our convocational response, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord. Thank you. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted. The passing of uh, Robin Williams affected me profoundly and inspired my song choices for today. looking at the, uh, the crew out here. I don't call you my congregation. I call you the crew. 
Good morning, Lenore. <laughs> because we are a work in progress and we work together. That's a crew rather than a congregation. Uh, before we get into the lesson, can we have a young lady come up and share with us the daily word today? She's very shy, but... is for living. <laughs> What's the idea today? Today's idea is fulfillment. Yes. I open to divine mind and I live a fulfilling life. Divine mind is the field of infinite potential. It is all good, everywhere present. It is the source of all that is. Divine mind is God. Yes. And God lives in me. Yes. Through the power of divine mind, I find the fulfillment of every need, health in mind and body, prosperity to live with ease and comfort, the love of family and friends, peace in my relationship with others, and harmony in my community. Today I open my heart and mind to greater understanding. All I need to know is that there is a place within my soul where I can consciously meet God as divine mind and receive a flood of new life, love, and power. God is the fulfillment of every need. Do that one again. God is the fulfillment of every need. As I grow in understanding, I am fulfilled. May he grant your heart's desire and fulfill all your plans. Psalms 24. Ah, wonderful. And the word is fulfillment. Give her a hand, please. <laughs> Didn't that tell you she was shy? I'm very shy. Ah, <laughs> I love it. Just love it. God is good. And all the time. All right, you got it by God. Now there's a gold or yellow sheet in your bulletin with the app. Invocation prayer. Please pull that out and share it with me. Together, we are now in the presence of pure being, immersed in the Holy Spirit of life, love, and wisdom. We acknowledge thy presence and thy power, O blessed Spirit. In thy divine wisdom now, erase our mortal limitations, and from thy pure substance of love, Bring into manifestation our world according to thy perfect law. Amen. Thank you, God. Today's talk is God's way. And according to 2 Samuel, the 22nd verse, the 31st, I mean, the 22nd chapter, the 31st verse, it says, As for God, God's way is perfect. The promise of the Lord proves true. The promise God has given us and made us many promises, but the one that comes to my mind that is just there. He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you, whatever you are going through. Put me first in your life and I will lead, guide, and direct your path. Put me first, and I will. I overheard someone at Starbucks the other morning say, I just don't know what to do to make my life the kind of life I want it to be, the kind of life that will mean happiness for me. Have you ever had such a thought? You can know that there is a way, God's way. And as you open yourself to God's guidance through prayer, because whether you know it, every word that proceeded out of your mouth is a prayer. Think about that. When you're in the grocery store and somebody says something or cuts you off with their shopping cart, 
you're going to bless them rather than bless them out, right? Because what you're sending out into the universe is coming back to whom? Yes, so as you send out the love and blessing, because you don't know what their situation is. Ah, now as you are receptive to divine direction, and you will be shown the way to fulfillment and unfoldment. Now we are positively affirm in prayer, there is a way, God's way. Now I'm having to use my computer today because I had it cleaned out because I had a thousand viruses in it last week. And I had uh, Dolly, Dottie's uh, and Bill's grandson meet me here and took my computer and cleaned it out. But now it does not match my printer. So therefore, <laughs> I'm having to use the computer, and it's all right, because God is good, you know, all the time, and we move on with what we have. Use what you got till you get what you need. Use what you got till you get what you need. Is that not right? You know, there is a way, and as you uh, are receptive to divine direction, you will be shown the way to. Now, as you positively affirm in prayer, there is a way, God's way. So whenever you're going through a challenge in life, say to your mind, you can't figure it out in your humanness, there is a way, God's way, and then ask the question, what is this to me? What is the blessing here in this experience? You may not know it at that time, but because you ask, it will, the answer will show up, and you will be endowed with it. Now, so many hearts needs help. So many people are searching for meaning and purpose in their lives. And so many people are trying to find their way out of some difficulty. So let us know for ourselves and for others that there is a way, God's way. And God's way is always open before you and can take, and you can take it with great trust. Because as the Bible verse said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Now God is, God is. God is omnipresent, which means everywhere evenly present. So there is no place where God is not. And today strive to know this truth. Because we forget. And our biggest challenge is forgetfulness. We forget. We get caught up in whatever is going on in front of us at the moment. And we forget that there is a way, God's way. And as we stop and get back into sync with God and ask the question, what is this to me? How is this a blessing to me? So just today, to strive to know this truth, not in a general way, but in a personal, meaningful, and powerful way in your life. We say God and I are one. How is that so? But in our divine mind. God and I. Are one. So use, open up, and let that God Spirit move you through and with each experience. Now the essence of God and energy of God are all part of all the world around you, yet it is at the same time God's dynamic forces intimately inspire, enhance, harmonize, and enlighten us, especially when we smile. Especially when we smile. So while she was singing that song, I was looking at you, and you were not even aware of it. Somehow the ends of your lips just sort of curved up a bit there. I said, ah, oh, the power of expression. <laughs> Thank you, God. And you felt better without even thinking about it. Now, God will generate the answers and always show you the direction that you need to go. Sometimes we need to stop and just stop and get ourselves pull ourselves in, get, pull our pieces in, all the fears and doubts and worries and all that stuff, just stop and ask the question, God, for there's never a time when God is not there, opening ways and bringing forth that which is right, that which is good, that which is blessed, and that which is loving. Thank you, God. Now, God becomes a navigator of your life. And you set a course that is based on spiritual intuition instead of fleeting circumstances. So listen to this quote by Omar Bradley. 
We need to learn to set our course by the stars, not by every passing ship. Got that one? A lot of people live their whole life just reacting to daily events. Instead of creating their own lives, their directions, and their paths. I said, what are you going to do? I don't know. Well, what do you want to do? I don't know. Where are you going today? I don't know. Uh, what do you want out of life? I don't know. Well, if you don't know, who does? I'm waiting for somebody to tell me. Oh, who's in control of your life? Who is one with God? Who is God's We all are God's children, you know. But you need to make that first step. After you receive the God, ask the questions. All right, a lot of people live their lives just reacting to daily events instead of creating their own lives. This is done in weakness and takes so much energy to live a life like this. So now I would like to move from that idea to if you came to me and told me that I can't get along with people, I would tell you to get a card about the size of a three by five postcard, you know, and then write on it, write on it, like attracts like. What did I say? Like attracts like. Okay. And then put it inside your closet. Not where the other members of your family will see it, you know, because it could be a little bit embarrassing, you know, especially when you get to that state of being grumbling and, and finding fault with others. They may point to that, their finger at that little card, which could be very embarrassing. So put the card in your closet so they can't see it. Like attracts like. Thoughts held in mind reduce after their kind. Some people try to say to me, if you only knew the kind of family I have, if you only knew the kind of people with whom I have to associate with and, and work with, if you only knew, I would say, well, there's a law of being that says like attracts like. Okay. Now, the ultimate expression or explanation of all things is that life is a state of consciousness. And we preach and teach that in unity. So unless you change your state of consciousness, nothing else can change. God is principle, unchangeable, and is help to you, but you have a choice. Choose you this day what, where you're going to have your thoughts lie. All troubles, all disappointments, all depression, all limitations is a state of consciousness that must be changed. People try to change outer conditions. It cannot be done when they do not change their consciousness. Like attracts like. Now the only fundamental way to change is to change your consciousness because you are always and must always and will get the conditions that belong to your consciousness. You cannot cheat nature. Now, you can drag to you through willpower certain things that do not belong to you, but you can only keep them for a short time because they're not yours. You're trying to force a situation. Oh, I like her. She's sharp. I'm going to make her mine. Oh, he sure is fine. I want him in my life. I'm going to marry him. You don't have a clue what you're talking about, you know. <laughs> but you're going to force your way because you have an intellectual desire here, a sensual desire here. But now, to turn that around, Lord, show me my perfect mate. Let me know when I'm in the one that's with my perfect mate or my perfect job or my perfect whatever it is that you're looking for because God is perfect, whole, complete all the time. And we being his offsprings, we are perfect, whole, complete all the time. But in our subconscious mind, we got a whole lot of stuff that we've been carrying for a long time. And then it shows up to get us off track. The moment you take your hands off of this forced situation, 
they fly away. Now the same thing applies to your health. Ooh. You can compel a certain part of the body to picture health for a short time, but if you do not have a consciousness of health, you cannot keep it. You heal a person of rheumatism and another condition is created. You heal him of that and he has trouble with his sight. You heal him of his sight and he has problems with his lungs and so on and so forth. These are not healings, they are temporary cures because they are attempts to put into body something that does not belong there by right of consciousness. So, when you want to solve your problems, you can see at once that there is only a way to, the only way is to change your consciousness. What are you thinking about it? What are you thinking about it? Nothing can come to you securely. Nothing can stay with you permanently except what you are entitled to by right of consciousness. Now, what is this consciousness that I'm talking about here? A sense of awareness of knowing, 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 not guessing or hoping or wishing, but knowing that divine ideas must be incorporated into your consciousness, your spiritual awareness, before they can mean anything to us. Now, we have intellectual understanding in our humanness, and which leaves us subject to sin, sickness, poverty, and death. And by me, sin, I mean missing the mark because we're not tuned in to our divineness. But we must develop our consciousness, raising it to higher and higher levels of understanding in our minds. Understanding is mellow. Understanding is better. This increased understanding comes through allowing divine ideas and the realization of them beyond intellectual concepts. So when we allow divine ideas into our mind, we become aware of our beliefs and attitudes that may be hindering our spiritual growth. No two things can occupy the same space at the same time. Oil and water does not mix. So study your own mind, study your own mind, and through it you will find God mind. In no way, other way, can you get the complete understanding of yourself, of yourself, and of the universe, other than through the law of understanding, which is all being brought forth to you, through you, and for you. And in closing, God's way is usually an easier way because you are not alone in doing what needs to be done. Ask for help. Ask for help. Ask for help. Seriously, soul-searchingly, ask for help. Then be still and listen. Be still and know that I am God. God will show up in your life because you are a channel. We are all channels of this spiritual essence that is within us and all around us. So you are no longer like a hamster running on a wheel, exhausting yourself and getting nowhere. So you pray to God and you're inspired by God. You're infilled with God's strength and you find there is a way and that way is God's way. So, today, God bless and prosper you today and always in every area of your life. Amen. And so it is. <laughs> Some might be thinking, oh, he cries all the time. No, I had uh, surgery on my eyes and they they tend to run. So I have to catch them sometime. <laughs> so anyway, I'm not crying. Sometimes I am, so that way you can't really tell when it's, but anyway. 
It's all good, because it's all God. All right, let's, it's time right now for our love offering. And if you have a check, just put it in the envelope, because uh, they're recycling the check of these uh, envelopes. Uh, but now, on the back of this envelope, placing it in your left hand, your receiving hand, and your right hand over it, massage, you put your energy into it, because what you're doing is sending it out into the universe, and it will, in some shape, way, place, or form, come back to you. How? Press down, shaking together, and running over. So we affirm, divine love through me blesses and multiplies all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive. And so it is. God bless. song I ever learned when I was a teenager, so it has special meaning for me. I didn't know about God that much. I went to church every Sunday, and <laughs> I heard about it. Oh, God's going to get you, God. Oh, my God. But anyway, I've learned more, more to be more loving and to know that God is love. And we're blessing these love offerings today, blessing the people that gave them are your children, God, and blessing their homes, their lives, the everything about them because we know that as you give, you shall receive, because giving and receiving is the same. It's all God. It's all good. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Do we have any first-timers here today? Please stand. All right. 
<laughs> Welcome. And you are? Gary Smith. All right. And how'd you happen to come here today? Well, uh, I was here last year. Last year? Yes, and uh, I've been traveling around, and I've been visiting other unit churches, like in Cleveland, Monroe, and, you know, different places, because I travel a lot. Yes. But when I came back here, this is where I know I should be. Ah. <laughs> this God be, this okay, well, come when you're in the area. Come on back. <laughs> Thank you. Let's give him the uh, unity blessing again. Huh? Oh, who is that hiding over in the corner? <laughs> Would you stand? <laughs> and, who, <laughs> and who are you? Uh, my name is Steve. Steve? Yes. Well, good morning, Steve, and welcome. How'd you happen to hear about us? I just happened by. You just happened by? Yes. Well, wonderful. God is good, isn't it? <laughs> well, welcome and come back again and again. Thank you. Let's give both of them our unity blessing. Okay, let me put this down so I can rub our hands together. Stand up so we can zap you with this wonderful energy. <laughs> now, how many, we got two, so how can we say that? Well, I know that part, but... <laughs> yeah, okay, God. Uh, your wonderfulness, <laughs> we love you, we bless you, we appreciate you, and we behold the Christ in you. Welcome. God bless. <laughs> okay, while you're standing, let's sing our peace song. <laughs> All right, let's form it. Oh. <laughs> Sing. <laughs> you can turn this out now. Uh, what do you mean, no? Come on over. We're not going to sing a note to you. Come on over. This is unity. We are unifying ourselves. Yeah. Live peace on earth, and it has begun with me. Now there is peace on earth, the peace that was meant to be. With God as creator, yes, family all are we. Like it or not, it. <laughs> Let we walk with you. In what? In perfect harmony. Now peace begins with me. Let this be the moment now. With every step I take, let this be my joyous call to take each moment. sacred sanctuary. We say thank you, God, for this day. Thank you, God, for the words that we've heard, for the changes that are going on in our lives continually. And we say thank you. We say thank you because thank you makes room for more of God's goodness. God's goodness. And as we praise, we raise our consciousness to that level of receiving our answers. Thank you. And we say the light of God surrounds us the love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. For wherever we are, God is, and all is well. Now hug somebody. <laughs> 